Alright, I got some people asking me what, some, what I'm doing with my Tahoe and my 61 plate. Well, here's the 61 plate that I've been working on. It's not perfect, but there's 61 stainless steel plates in there, so it's 60 cells, and it's 120 volts. I got it plugged into the wall right now, going into the bridge rectifier, so it turns it into DC. And I've got it running at, let's see if you can see this, a little over one amp right now. It's been going for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and just testing it out to see if it's getting hot or not. Uh, I've been working on this one for a while because I kept breaking the seal on it and everything. And it's getting too hot and blah, blah, blah. So. I'm starting off a little bit smaller now with less of the lie or KOH, whatever you want to call it. I also have the uh, potassium hydroxide downstairs that I got, but I'm going to use this first until it runs out. Then I'll use the, the other stuff. So far, whenever it is running, probably about 3 amps. It'll do probably a little over two liters a minute. And I'm going to put this one in my Tahoe. So I want it to run between two and two and three amps so it doesn't get hot. Otherwise, I'll just be making a lot of steam and all that crap too. So, yeah. Uh, after this runs for a little while, I make sure it doesn't get hot. Then I'll put the lid on it. And then I'll show you some of the output on it. Alrighty. Oh, and this is made out of those cutting boards that you can get from like Walmart or wherever. And what I did was is I cut slots with a hacksaw, so it's not perfect. And uh, it took a little bit of time cutting all the slots in it so the plates will slide down perfectly inside. But they're not perfect. All I have is a hacksaw, so. I don't know, it does what it needs to do right now. And that's about it for the time being.